while wandering through the aisles here at the SEMA show, I came across Mike here at the Superflow booth, and you know, although physics have not really changed ever, obviously these dynos rely on a little bit of electronics and a little bit of software to turn that physics into numbers, and I understand that you've got some software updates that are in the pipeline for your dynos. That's correct, our new software, Windyne 4, um, is in beta testing right now, and we're going to be releasing it uh, December of this year, probably around the time of the PRI show. Um, new, sh new systems will be shipping early next year, uh, probably January, February. Customers will start seeing those in hand. Uh, and the new software has a, a lot of background updates, uh, some heavy lifting to set a really good base platform where we can have ongoing development in the next 6, 12, 18, or 24 months with a lot of cool new features for the customer base. Uh, in the first version of the new software, uh, Windyne 4, um, we, we have a new CAN integration, so a lot of customers have been asking us for a way to communicate with their engine management system, uh, and the protocol for that, uh, or the current protocol is CAN. Uh, so we built a Superflow CAN interface where dyno channels are just rolling on that interface, and if a customer wants to, they can plug into that, pull the dyno channels off so they can have uh, torque, horsepower, uh, and anything else, you know, the dyno measure that they'd like to see in their management software uh, all in one place. I know a lot of the really popular tuning packages use that CAN data to uh, bring in a lot of information that the, that the ECU is reading anyway. That's correct. So that's, uh, you know, CAN is just a nice way for uh, electronic devices to communicate with each other. So we already had the technology in our box. We just had to make it active. And um, now it's available for anybody to integrate with, you know, whatever management software they're going to use. Yeah, more channels of data means better tuning. Yeah, in most cases, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what about people who have maybe older models of the dyno, these things just don't wear out, so can they take advantage of the new, uh, the new software setup and the new electronics? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we build a mechanical system that's pretty robust, and you know, we have dynos uh, that were built in the 50s that are still running today. You know, that's good and bad. It gives us a good reputation. It's bad because uh, we don't sell, have a lot of repeat sales unless uh, someone's business really expands. Um, but as far as upgrade paths, for anybody on our current data acquisition hardware, um, it's just a new, some new firmware for that sensor box, a uh, new computer, and the new software. Uh, we also have complete data acquisition and control upgrade packages for older Superflow dynos or uh, other manufacturers' engine and chassis dynos as well. And then they be able to take advantage of all the new uh, software features in Windyne 4. All right, so for people who are interested in either a new chassis dyno or a new engine dyno, what's the best place to get more information? Our website uh, will be First Line of Defense, www.superflow.com or you can get us at our 800 number, 800-471-7701. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to bring me up to speed on what's new with Superflow. For Power Auto Media, I'm Paul Husinga. Keep it right here. There's a lot of SEMA coverage yet to come. <laughs>